Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of English in Practice. It's Kareem with you, your English teacher. Today we will look at some idioms that can be very helpful to express different ideas in our daily lives. Let's look at these idioms so that we can add more richness to our speaking skills. Let's begin. The first idiom we have today is food for thought. This idiom, like many idioms, has nothing to do with its literal meaning, which means this idiom has nothing to do with food. This idiom is used to talk about something that is worth thinking about seriously. Example, Sam's suggestion at the meeting gave us food for thought. So let's say that we work in a company and my colleague Sam uh, was in the meeting. And in, at that meeting or in the meeting, Sam suggested an idea or some ideas. And these ideas were food for thought. What does that mean? That means that these ideas were really good, were like so good that they were uh, worth thinking about seriously. They were worth considering. So when we use this idiom to describe something, we are basically saying that this something or this idea is uh, worth considering or thinking about seriously. Idiom number two on our list today is a storm is brewing. Now, this idiom is used when you want to say that something bad is happening in the near future based on what's happening right now. There's something happening right now and based on what's happening right now, you can see that something bad is happening very soon. Example, Sam and Sally have been arguing a lot. A storm is brewing here. Let me explain the context of this example. I have two friends, Sam and Sally. These two people have been arguing and fighting a lot. They have been disagreeing on anything they would talk about. So, based on my analysis of the current situation, I think that there is some kind of trouble, difficulty, problem, or maybe emotional upset that is happening very soon. So, when I say a storm is brewing, this is what I think. I think that something bad is happening very soon based on what is happening right now. Idiom number three on our list is up in the air. Again, this idiom has nothing to do with its literal meaning. We have nothing that is floating up in the air. This idiom is used to talk about something that is uncertain. Let's have examples. Example one, my contract expired and my future is up in the air. Example two, the decision of moving to another city is up in the air. Now let's explain. In the first example, my contract expired, which means that I'm technically unemployed. I have no job. Now, because of this, I have no plans for my future. I'm stressed now. All of my plans have been ruined by this incident. If I have no money, I have no job, I have no plans for the future. That's why there is nothing certain about my future. That's why I said my future is up in the air, which means nothing is certain about my future. The second example is or basically has the same idea because we use the same idiom. When I say that the decision of moving to another city is up in the air, that means there has been this idea that I want to move to another city, but I, I'm not really certain, I'm not really sure about it. That's why I say it's up in the air, which means this idea is not or is uncertain yet. The fourth idiom for today is to go from rags to riches. This idiom is used to say that, or this idiom means to start your life very poor and later in your life become very rich. I'm sure that we all heard such stories, especially uh, stories of celebrities. We know many celebrities that were really poor and then became very rich later in their lives. Let's have this example. The actor Jim Carrey went from rags to riches. If you're a fan of the actor Jim Carrey, or at least you are familiar with this actor, you know that Jim Carrey was very poor. He used to live in his van. But after that, he worked so hard on himself until he became the highest paid 
comedian in the world. He became very successful. So when I say he went from rags to riches, all I'm saying is he moved from great poverty to great wealth. The last idiom we have today is be in the red. To be in the red means to spend or owe money more than you earn. Example, I'm in the red this month because my car accident cost me a fortune. So I usually make enough money. This month was an exception because I had a car accident. So when I had my, my car accident, I had to have this car repaired. And of course, that cost me money. The problem is I didn't have enough money, so I had to borrow money from my friends. Now, in this situation, I spent money more than I earned that month. That's why I was in the red. If you want to express the opposite meaning, you can say to be in the black. Now, when you use this idiom, you're basically expressing the opposite meaning. You earn money more than you spend money. Let's use an example. After the car accident, I worked some small jobs over the weekend and I was in the black. What does that mean? It means that I needed money, right? Because I did have money to have my car repaired, but I still needed money because I needed to pay those people back. Remember, I borrowed money from my friends. So what did I do? I worked some small jobs over the weekend. I made more money this month, which means this month I made more money than I spent. That's why I'm in the black. So to sum everything up, if you are in the red, that means you spend money more than you earn. But if you're in the black, you basically earn money more than you spend. This is the difference between these two useful idioms. Today, we looked at some idioms that can be very helpful in our daily lives. We can use these idioms to express different ideas and sometimes using less and less words. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you very much. Stay safe.